Hello everybody, this is It's Me 64 and today I'm going to show you how you can access Minecraft's game files on mobile. And why am I showing you this? Well, because it's a bit different or well actually a lot different than if you want to do this on uh, on your computer. And this tutorial is going to specifically be for iOS. And now this might work for other types of phones or devices or tablets or whatever's, but um, this I'm I'm going to be showing to you guys this on iOS. And if you're worrying that your device might be too old for this, well, I'm recording this on an iPhone 5, so you don't really need to worry about that. Anyways, you might want to wait, know, like, why am I actually showing you this, and why would I want to access the game files? Well, um, when you can access Minecraft's game files, or at least a portion of them, of course you can't access all of them, otherwise you could do some pretty weird things, but a few of them you can access. And on my channel, I have made tutorials for how you can, for example, um, can increase your render distance to 1000 chunks or give yourself unlimited FPS in Minecraft and things like that for example the FPS increasing can be very useful for if you play on mobile anyways let's get right in so the first thing you actually want to do is just head right out of Minecraft then next you want to go over to um, your files and if you type in files in the search bar right here this files area will pop up anyways um, you should end up in a place that looks a bit like this have a browse at the top over here anyways you want to head to on my iPhone then you want to go right into Minecraft that folder right there then games when to go into there then com.mojang folder, which is the only folder you can really go into, and boom, you're pretty much already there. But now I'm quickly going to just explain what um, a few of these things are. So here, resource packs folders, um, all resource packs, for example, texture packs or ads or mods, they're going to be stored um, in that folder. Um, yeah, then Minecraft Worlds. Here you can actually see all of your Minecraft Worlds. And now these names of these folders actually look sort of weird. But if you enter into one of those folders, um, then you will see level name over here. And as you can see, this world is called My World. Which, um, well, if you actually named your worlds, then you will be able to determine what world it is. Um, anyways, if you head into Minecraft PE over here, then there's a bunch of cool stuff. And the coolest one of these is the options file. And, well, as you can see, there's a bunch of options here. And I'll link the tutorials in which I show how to increase your render distance and your FPS in the description because you through this options folder, you can actually um, you can actually do that. However, you do need to keep in mind that you need to be able to edit this some way. So um, you need to search for a text editor or something that can handle these types of files. Anyways, I don't have much more to show to you than this, and if you want to learn more about Minecraft's game files or other cool things you can do, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified when my next video goes live. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.